Here no. I'm Go. Here I'm doing four reactions at the same time. Reaction seven is going to be magnesium, and here I have magnesium chunks, not ribbon, into which I'm going to pour six molar hydrochloric acid. Here, number eight is aluminum. I have aluminum filings into which I'm going to pour hydrochloric acid. Here I have some beautiful copper that I'll add hydrochloric acid to, and here I have silver. Oh yes, ask to see my platinum. Here I have silver. We need silver in chemistry. I cut up a little bit of it for your benefit and we'll do the reaction of silver in hydrochloric acid. Will these reactions occur? You should now know how do you test whether one of these elemental metals will react with the solution of hydrochloric acid. Will this reaction occur? Well, you have the benefit of seeing it. Here is the hydrochloric acid added to the magnesium. And I might say, this is very warm. Here is the hydrochloric acid added to the aluminum. Now I'm going to come back to this one in just a minute. Here is the hydrochloric acid added to the copper. And here is the hydrochloric acid acid added to the zinc. Excuse me, silver, thank you. Hydrochloric acid added to the silver. Now, the first reaction, magnesium, was quite impressive. It bubbled up and caused a mess on the lab table. Notice that the aluminum took a little bit longer. There's a difference in reactivity of magnesium and aluminum, but both eventually are reactive. So you can see now, after a good lag time of a minute, the aluminum has also generated a gas. Now, I wish I could show you which gas it is by doing a test, but you'll have to analyze that from the chemical reaction itself. I'm not capturing this gas as it's generated. Here I have the beautiful copper, still sitting in the hydrochloric acid, and the beautiful silver sitting in the hydrochloric acid. In fact, I could take my beautiful gold wedding ring, don't you worry, videographer, and put my gold wedding ring right there next to the silver in the hydrochloric acid. Your job is to now write these chemical reactions if they occur, or say no reaction if the reactions do not occur. Thank you, that's the end of seven, eight, nine, and 10.